Very pleasant good afternoon or good morning or good evening, depending where in the world you might be listening. <laughs> it's a good weekend. Time for the Sue Ellen Sanders Show here on WPSL. The talk of the Treasure Coast and WSTU, Martin County's Heritage Station. And look at Sue Ellen, bright and sunny. Yeah, sitting outside, <laughs> enjoying the beautiful weather. Looking so relaxed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not too jealous. Yeah. Oh, so I'll I'm do going. some relaxing for you. What's that? I'll do some relaxing for you. Oh, by the way, I almost decided to come out of retirement and apply for a job because I saw um, one of the newspapers is um, uh, looking for a journalist specifically to cover Taylor Swift. <laughs> there you go. So I, I I think that I would be perfect for the Taylor Swift specific journalist, although I don't think that they're looking for a 67-year-old woman for that position, but I know a lot about her. <laughs> you could be a Swifty. <laughs> I already am a Swifty, well, honestly. You know, it, it, it works. But you, you mentioned something, and I think I just, um, I was on a video tour of the Smithsonian. You said a newspaper? <laughs> there is one? Yes. Um, and it's actually, I think it's the newspaper group that I, in the past, worked for. <laughs> uh, uh oh. <laughs> Um, but at any rate, I, I I don't think that I would I really fit the description that they they are looking for. But I think it's worthwhile for me to try. <laughs> there yeah. you go. That's exactly right. If you don't try, you'll never know. <laughs> It'll be a unique perspective. At any rate, yes, I am retired or semi-retired, but I would not retire from this radio show because I love I'm um, talking about all the wonderful things on the Treasure Coast and um, all of the terrific organizations and all of the special events mm. uh, and all the issues. And um, I have uh, folks from Mustard Seed Ministries with me today and uh, Stacy Malinowski, who I've known for what, like 20 years, maybe? If, more, if not more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Griselda. G. Giselda. Yeah. With the G. Great. G. Giselda. Mm -hmm. South the GR. Gotcha. Okay. Giselda. Okay. Yeah. Griselda sounds more evil, doesn't it? <laughs> kind of. It is. Yeah. It's, and, you know, no and, and, no and Giselda is the volunteer coordinator uh, for Mustard Seed Ministries. Those are my co workers now. Um, they're in charge of, of checking with the Federal Express guy and the, um, the people who are delivering for Amazon. Um, that's my other job, you know, is accepting <laughs> those things. <laughs> um, no, uh, so Giselda and Stacy are here today to talk about Mustard Seeds different events um and uh their mission for the community and um honestly it is a situation where uh there are we were talking before the show there are people that have not ever needed help that are now needing help stacy you want to talk a little bit about that yeah, th th this this has been a really tough year. I'm not I'm not going to tell you that any different because it has been tough. You at the beginning of the year, we you know a lot of federal money got pulled back. You know Biden let us know very clearly that pandemic's over. So when that happens, that's where you see a lot of downfalls. We've had huge increases to everything that you want to buy or own or anything, and all of that has driven a lot of our nonprofits are even sitting with deficits just because of those situations, more expenses versus what we would have had. Anyway, but you also, for me, I've been with in social services majority of my life, and 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 I love what I do, but it's hard when I have to keep saying no, no, I'm sorry. We don't have that, you know, and it's getting it's getting worse. 
especially for housing. Housing has been a problem all along, and we all know that. And again, and, there, and I know the county is really trying hard to come up with, they're talking about women's shelters getting put on the place. They're talking about buying motels to turn those in so people can do it. But again, but it's not here, not yeah. yet. So again, to have to have 60, 70, 80 year old women that are now homeless and men, okay, and children, children beyond in the schools. I don't know the exact number, but I know Greg was talking a little bit about it earlier of how many homeless children we have. Yes. And so, and, and some of those uh, men and women and children, like you said, they've never been homeless before. They correct. don't know the ways of the world and, and knowing that down the road, housing that might be available is being planned for them doesn't do them any good now. And so a lot of them are couch surfing, you know, depending correct. on uh, family members and friends. Cars. Um, and and cars and cars in their cars, and uh, it it's okay. a. I got a single dad that that I've been communicating back and forth, and he has an eleven year old son and a very smart young man, and and again lives in their cars, and again how horrible that is to have to think this is how you live, but he is doing the very best that he can. He's disabled, okay, so he drives him to school, he picks him up from school, he makes sure he gets a shower, he makes sure that he has his clean clothes. He does what he can, but he can only do this from his car. I was fortunate enough now to make a deal with another partnership with uh, one of our agency partners. And, and I said, find a rooming house, find a bed that you and your child can be in and be able to go to the kitchen and cook your dinner. And then, and he goes, so I did one of the partners going to meet and be able to pay half and I will pay the other half. And this is where he'll get started to be on his road. And he has a source of small income, but enough that can cover what he needs. But it mm -hmm. takes more than one person now to try to figure out solutions for each and every one of them. And of course, mustard seed in general, uh, as a ministry, that that is what you do. Is Correct. You, you are kind of a catch-all for people who need whatever they need um and for some people you know it, it's the end of spending months asking for help and people get they call one agency who says to call another agency and says to call another and a lot of times they end up at your door um and you do whatever you can, whether it's to help feed them or find a home for them or or clothe them. Um, so let's talk about um, some of the programs that mm -hmm. Mustard Seed offers, um, some of the programs that you'd like to offer. Uh, with Thanksgiving coming up, let's sure. talk about the Thanksgiving uh, sure. event. And then, of course, how people can help because... Giselda, as a director of the volunteers, you know, she can talk about, you know, other than giving money right. or clothes or whatever, you can mm -hmm. also give your time. So let's sure. kick that off. Sure. So when you talk about our programs, you know, this organization started in 1986 and the whole piece was, and the mission is, is to help the whole person, really. There's a long thing about it, but that's really it. When they walk in and they're able to get their food, Sometimes they need clothing while they're at that. And besides that, they just gave me a big uh, big um, uh, uh, prescription. Can Any way you can fill it. I can fill up some of it, but I can't fill it. It was too expensive. Those are the things where we like being those gaps to make those things happen mm -hmm. and be able to do that. So food pantry is probably our busiest of all of our programs. Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in the mornings, they can come in from 9 to 1145. And, and again, it's not just a little bit of groceries. They get a whole bag of dry goods. We have at least usually three to four different types of produce. They get some desserts. They get their bread. They get what they need. And if there's hygiene available, they get that as well. So, I, and again, just yet, and just on Tuesday, I think I was down to the pantry working and filling in. And there was we did 210 people in less than two hours. And, and I that's mean, one day. That's just one day. That's just one day. So do people have to qualify to get your services at the pantry? 
all they need to say is I'm hungry. I'd like to get food. So yeah, <laughs> you don't Wait. have to qualify at all. No, you, not you at all. Show up. You, you come once a month and, and again, but then we also have a flyer if they want to come to either one of our locations. There's at least, oh, I don't know, 30 different mm -hmm. organizations that do the food like that. So this way they go to ours and then go someplace else. I much rather they do that than instead of paying their rent. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can get by, we can go ask people for food that we need, and that's great. But we also need to make sure as long as you got a roof over your head, that will keep you safe. Mm -hmm. So that's important for us. And and again, it has been now seven months. And there was very little to no rent or mortgage in this county at all. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you now, there was another agency that was helping out veterans. They had money for to help just the veterans and the homeless and that aspect there of being in one of those shelters. So I am very excited that we made it a, a step out to be able to put in a grant for Impact 100. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Everyone that I saw that were getting things needed things like um, doors for for fixing something and other things like that. And I said, we could use a new van, but you know what? That's still not my priority. My priority is being able to serve these people. Mm -hmm. And so we put in the grant to do nothing but rent and mortgage. And so, and we were awarded the grant and I, could not, I was over the top beyond belief that, that, but again, these people are, so it would take about two more weeks before the funds will come in, but that's okay. We're going to just hit this road running just to make sure that we can, and we do a, a pretty um, tough vetting situation and making sure how, and we bring them in and, and, and again, it's different when you have homeless, you, you can't ask whether they've got a job or what they're doing, but most of them do, but not enough to be able to sustain and live which mm -hmm. makes it really hard for them. So that's that. So we do, we do also uh, prescription assistance. We, um, uh, again, financial education are getting a head class is a very big piece of ours. So when they walk in the door and, and they need help, we're able to give them rent or mortgage if we need to. But the other part of that comes with now we work on a budget. Then we bring them full circle. When they take that class, that class can go for eight weeks and mm -hmm. it is a commitment. And we will graduate them and then we follow them for a year. So that, wow. and that's where you really get the really, the outcomes that you are looking for, for on, on your investment. When they start talking about what they're, you can just take that, make that stop for me, please. Okay. Thank you. So it, yeah. And, and again, for, for that part is it, it, they put the commitment in, they get graduated in front of the County commissioners that were very excited to see that, that, that this is really working. And again, I just re-reviewed some of the follow-ups when the facilitators given to me. And four, there's four girls that she had targeted for me. Three of them have all had increased scores in their credit score over that course of the time that they were done enough to where they don't have to pay three times the amount of rent because you didn't meet the level of, you know, of the credit score needing. These are the things that just make me yeah. happy as I can be. Yes. So, and again, no, and and it all and as you're talking about it here, and as you're talking about the programs, it all is like a vicious circle. It all, you know, you you don't have a roof over your head, so you don't have a job, so your credit is crap, so you can't get an affordable house, you can't pay affordable rent because you have to pay three times as much, and then you're you're constantly, you know, back Correct. in that vicious circle and and that's, that's why the classes that you offer are so important that particular program is is really was meant for poverty but you can have situational poverty and you can have generational poverty the the situation for me for that situation is that poverty plays such a part so before you ever can do anything you need to be able to let them know that, to take this class the first class you're going to see is theory of change you have to be willing to want to change if you want to get a different outcome and, and again, teaching them about predatory lending, letting them know who are those predators out there, tote to note cart lots, you know, every uh, payday loans. And again, and when they realize at the end what they're talking about, they're going, wow, they really do take advantage of us. No, you have to have knowledge now to not make that happen. So these are the things that we work with with them. We have a diaper program. We have one is with the food bank and one is with what we have. So the girls can come in and get on a list and they can get diapers for three months just to get them a startup to get going. And with, again, the new baby that's in that house or what may be going. Clothing again, assistance. Again, before you, you step on, move on for, for diapers, unless you have a kid, you have no idea mm -hmm. 
how much money you're yep. going to be spending on diapers. A hundred percent. Yeah. It's just 100%. incredible. Exactly. Right? Sorry, didn't so, but yeah, but, and again, you look for oh, it's just diapers. No, it's it's critical to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. and again, our clothing department. So we have two. We have a boutique, and and again, and then we have the majority of the stores the other clothing. And you can get twelve items of clothing, and you come in and you bring a picture ID and socials if you have it. If you don't, then I get to step in and take care of some of that. And and again, you can do that every three months. So now we've, we've kind of, if you go back and you take a look, we're giving you food in the pantry. We're also being able to allow you to get clothing for all your children and any family members. That's why we have to validate the, that that there. And when I tell you, these people are unbelievably grateful. I mean, just absolutely grateful that this is here and available for them and that no one's going to tell them no. Okay. So, which is great. And, okay. So, so while you stand, you're talking about the clothing, I want to make a, uh, We'll talk about the community participation. The sure. next time you're cleaning out your closet, the next time your kids have outgrown stuff and it's perfectly good stuff, bring it to Mustard Seed or donate it to Mustard Seed because you have the, that whole uh, organization going, yes, you do charge for some of the clothes, Mm -hmm. And you charge a reasonable amount. I mean, where else can you get a shirt for a dollar? I mean, really. <laughs> um, but you also have a, a situation where you do give the clothes for free to those mm -hmm. who need it. So mm -hmm. it, it's not a by any means, it, Mustard Seed is not a money making proposition. No. <laughs> um, there's not a big guy or gal at the top that's making millions of dollars or oh, hundreds no. of thousands of dollars. <laughs> Would you like no, to no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have to have a servant's heart for this work. <laughs> so when people will say to me, what should I do when I clean yeah. out my closet? And I'm talking about toys. I'm talking about furniture. Yeah. I'm talking about, you know, anything in your house. Um, and, uh, you know that you're going to be making a difference in people's lives. And isn't that what's most important? Well, of course it is. And and again, we have to be able to not just the services we have, for instance, we offer um, bus tickets. Now, right now we are out of those funds, but in return, trying to relocate people back to their families is critical. Okay, instead of them being homeless someplace, let's get you back to your family. If, if, if you're in trouble with mom and dad, then go see Aunt Jo. Do whatever you got to do, but you need to be able to have a safe place that you can live, that someone's going to be there to be able to be your support system. That's that's really important to us as well. And Even we if were it's just temporary. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and the same thing that I have with um, being able to know that we just merged about maybe now nine months ago with Sarah's Kitchen. So mm -hmm. Sarah's Kitchen has come over to Mustard Seed. And they have, we have, uh, I think we have four, five. five soup kitchens. And then we have one mobile unit, which is for the homeless, where we deliver right to the camps and give them their food. We give them hygiene, give them clothing. And that's done every Thursday. And and again, I'm telling you what, it is amazing what this these kitchens are doing and the numbers that they're serving. And again, when people are able to walk away, knowing if you just sign up for yourself to walk over for a meal, they're going to give you two. So one that you have tonight and one you might have for, for tomorrow. And, and again, the seniors are the biggest group that comes after that, which is good because, you know, they're not going to make any more money. The government's not going to give them a great big giant raise, yeah, no. <laughs> but, but that's it. But again, the services that we provide and we do a, super, a summer food program in those well. So when the summer comes and, you know, and you don't live near a site that's serving, then that's where we would come up through and we'll make the bags up and we'll do them for all 10 weeks of the summer. Wow. So these services that we have, like I said, go full circle. I really do. And and this where it, you know how hard it would be if we just did one thing? Because if we just did one thing, then what happens when you need food? Oh, well, how am I going to get there? I don't have a car. How's Where's my transportation? And we're fortunate in St. Lucie County that our buses run for free. Right. So. And and that's that's great, but that's but if you're buying ice cream, don't don't do it that way. <laughs> Believe me. But but again, I I'm really excited because you know each year as we struggle a little bit, but at, at the end of the year everything just works. You know it really does. And again, I want to talk a little bit if I can, if you're okay, if you go another sure. week, Thanksgiving. 
Yes, absolutely. That's very timely. <laughs> exactly. This is this is our the 23rd, 24th year. 30, 30, 33rd year. Sorry. <laughs> so our 33rd year. And I've been with them 20 of those years. So <laughs> but anyway, that is just, you know, people just just Thanksgiving dinner. No, not really. You know, because we were able to put a real big tent up and we had everybody that could come under it. The community came out. There were thousands of people on site. And of course, the pandemic changed a lot of that. But that particular point is that whole purpose of Thanksgiving was that you would not be alone. It would be not that there is what am I? You know, I have nowhere to go. I can't afford a meal. All of those reasons played the part of why we we continue doing what we're doing. And the homeless will come. They do each time. They know where we are. They, it's the same site that we go to no matter what. And every year that I've walked away from that Thanksgiving day, I can give you a story about someone in there that just made it every reason why I should always continue doing what we're doing. Mm. And, it, and I will tell you, it was a sea of people. There had to be 600 people under there, if not more. And here was this fine gentleman with a beautiful hat on and a suit and a tie. And he was sitting with like two tables of these people. And when I tell you, I walked by and we were serving, he goes, I, 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 I want to tell you that I could afford a meal. But my wife just died and I really didn't want to be alone. Mm -hmm. Do you mind I came? I said, no, I'm excited that you are here. And I said, God bless you. And, and he came and goes, I thank you because now I don't feel alone. Oh. That was it. That's all it took for me. That's all yeah. it took for me. That's exactly why that happened. We used to be able yeah. to give, get cell phones and let people call a family member that they hadn't heard from a long time. Yeah. So like I said, there's always reasons and purpose behind you know, Carl Junker was around at the very beginning, and and I will tell you, I used to call him Dr. Lawyer Indian Chief, but anyway, because he could do just about anything, but again, he was a man that cared, cared a lot about mm -hmm. our community and cared about Thanksgiving, and he actually passed away on that day, so we always think of him on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So That's we cool. have we have uh, sites for our Thanksgiving dinner this year for that for the just the soup kitchens that we'll talk about at this point right now so um november 20th um it will be at first united methodist church and it'll be at 260 southwest prima vista boulevard in port st lucie 34983 they will be serving at 4 p.m that day for their thanksgiving dinner tuesday november 21st first bethel baptist church 506 north 11th street fort pierce 34950 they will start serving at three o'clock, okay? We also have Lakewood Park United Methodist Church, our most newest center we brought in, by, uh, 5405 Turnpike Feeder Road in Fort Pierce. Serving starts at 4.30, okay? And then we go to our last one, which would be Wednesday, November 22nd, First Congregational Church at 2, uh, 2,400, wait, wait, 2,401, 2,401 uh, Southeast Sedona Street, in Port St. Lucie, 34952, and they're serving at 430 as well. So Do you each, have a you have all of this on your website or I, it social? will be going, I think it's up there. If not, but I'll make sure that it is there so they okay. will know where to go. And they can always come into Mustard City if they're out and about with the flyer that can give them all that too. So okay. I'll make sure it's on the site. Okay. Okay, don't um, know for sure. And if you clear. wouldn't mind sending us a copy of the flyer too, we can I will. post that information as well. I most certainly will. And I will send it to Greg at WPSL.com. <laughs> and then on Thursday. The yeah. Yeah. On Thursday, the big day out on the site, which will be obviously November 23rd, our main event. And we'll be at Orange Avenue and 9th Street in Fort Pierce. Meals will be served starting at 11 o'clock until all the food is gone. So we're excited to have a good Thanksgiving this year. And, and again, it, there's other people that are doing it, but you know what? If we share all, we can cover a whole lot more. Yes. You know, that's, no, that's a big so deal. True. It's mm -hmm. not a competition. Nope. nope it's just nope, nope. like if we can feed everybody who mm -hmm. wants or needs to be fed, especially at Thanksgiving, because like you said, the holiday is more than just yeah. about a day to eat. It's yeah. about being thankful for the people around you and, you know, with your your feasts and your other events that go on the whole Thanksgiving week, everybody can participate. Um, 
and everybody can help. So let's talk a little bit, uh, Giselda, about how the volunteers that you need to put this type of thing on and the donations that you might need to get there. Okay, first I would like to say that it's an honor to me to work for this organization. <laughs> it's not a job because they say when you do a job, when you do something that you love, it's not a job, right? <laughs> and I come here and I say every day, like Miss Stacy said, um, different cases, people with different issues, and we work very close with the community. I believe this year, for um, specific for the Thanksgiving, we already are all set because of yep. Sam's Club. Yeah, we've got it. We've got we've got quite a few volunteers that have already signed up. They try to start me in September, and I am I oh might hold off till October. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have we'll have between fifty five and sixty volunteers because we don't we're not put we can't put the big ten up. Right. And again, so we do set up our tables. We do have a, quite a few easy up tents that we kind of get everything ready. And then we're fortunate enough that the Sam's Clubs will come. Both of the centers will come. They bring extra desserts. They bring bread and, and mine with whatever, what we're cooking and getting things rolling. And sometimes we need a little extra help, though. I will say <laughs> a little. Okay. Not, not 500, but, you know, a little. On Wednesday, the day before, right across the street from the Orange Avenue and 9th is a, is a church. And we, that's where we set everything up and do our corn, our green beans, our gravy, and get it all ready. So, like I said, if they want to call into Mustard Seed, they can give a call to me. And then they can call our main line at 465-6021. Can people donate food? They, well, they, and again, if somebody wants to cook a turkey, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. If they want to, okay. you know, and again, I, I, like I said, I cannot, I won't tell or turn anybody away that's trying to help another person right. by far. Right, right. So, so if you could bring uh, a cooked turkey. Yeah, um, cooked turkey would be great. Yeah. If you want to debone it, I would even love you more. <laughs> 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 Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, mustard seed, you know, the, I, I've got two people who work and put their heart and soul into the organization here, sitting here with us. But there's so many volunteers that make everything work. Got him. Um, uh, for Can't at every them. stage, at every stage of the game. I mean, mm -hmm. the thrift stores. Um, a lot of the people in the thrift stores are working a shift, but they're volunteers. Yes. Um, and the people that are are coming out and organizing some of this stuff, the the people who um are are serving the food uh, at your your kitchens on a regular basis and at thanksgiving um they're volunteers they're people who just and and people don't just automatically grow up to be volunteers or not volunteers mm -hmm. you've got to set the example for your family mm -hmm. so you know rather than sitting around and watching football all day and or having the kids squabble um, or um, uh, talking the rest of the year about other people who may not have things that your kids do, uh, show them by example, bring them with you to volunteer, come and uh, have them when you're cleaning out your closet and your home to take stuff to mustard seeds, let your kids do it too. So they feel, they know who's getting their stuff that some kids who, whose mommy and daddies don't have everything are getting their stuff where they feel, feel good about it. And then they grow up to be those people Absolutely. that volunteer. And they grew up to be those people who work at Mustard Seed too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, our volunteers are the heart of this business. We, we, we would definitely could not do our job without mm -hmm. these volunteers. They come in the food. Oh, here, I'll let you They are loyal. Most of them, I would say 90% are retired. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I would yeah. say that. Yeah, that's all right. For both, for both locations, for here or for some Lucy and also for the Sarah's Kitchen. Um, they they come, well, it depends. Here, our pantry is open from 9 to 11.45 at our post, fourth year's location. 
and sometimes they are here at eight o'clock. We got here earlier, so they get here at eight o'clock. They help us, like Stacy was saying. That was on Monday. We had two hundred and something um customers. Go ahead and, and sit down so we can see your face. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for Stacy to. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a little bit of emergency. I quit walking Someone was at the door. I apologize. Okay. okay. Um, like uh, Miss Stacy was saying that we served, I believe this week, more than 500 families, okay. right, Miss Stacy? The 210 was just Three in days. one day. That's what, only one day. Mm -hmm. So, and I see, I do a monthly report and I see that since I started here, like almost two years ago, our volunteer increased tremendously. Mm -hmm. Last month at this location by, by, Oh, I can I remember we had 41 regular volunteers only at this location in four years. Mm -hmm. When I first started here, it was like 10 or 12. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> and it was after COVID, of course. So, yeah, um, yeah. But um, uh, in, in Port St. Louis, it's the same, like yeah. almost 90 states. Mm -hmm. I would say the, the our pantry is smaller than, and we serve more people in Fort Pierce than in Port St. Louis occasionally <laughs> it happens that we serve more that but um i believe the volunteers are the most like the heartbeat i think this is the heartbeat of the company oh, volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the loves of the company um so i think it's important what they are doing and they are diligent they are willing to do a great job they clean no matter what needs to be done i don't need to be telling them of course sometimes they need some directions oh i need this what is it or that so we're pretty busy in the morning if you come <laughs> if you come in the morning to see how, what we're doing monday tuesday and wednesday in the pantry but when they leave the pantry looks beautiful and they they go an extra mile and they help the customers to bring the shopping carts outside. They will mm -hmm. do whatever it takes. They they do with the heart. You you, you can see that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very, very proud, I would say, of them, right, Miss Stacy? And our volunteers come from a lot of places. So not only are they just seniors, so somebody may have gotten in a little bit of trouble and needed to work off some community mm -hmm. service mm hours. -hmm. We welcome them here into our organization. And again, believe it or not, we've hired them before as well because we're a second chance agency. <laughs> but yes, we're very fortunate to be able to have what we do with them. But we always are in need. So, you know, because some come and some go. So it's really important that we maintain that because this keeps a balance here for us, believe it or not. Without them, there's I can guarantee you we would not be able to do what we do. Yeah, well, absolutely. In addition to the pantry, though, I mean, you have both thrift shop locations that you use a ton of volunteers for mm -hmm. yep and that's you know, you're good. Good. You're all right good. all right you're good, you're good. okay so for, we have a great store manager and he's very creative believe me in some ways i have to say dial that back <laughs> but he's good <laughs> but and again this is veteran state and so for instance we have a a sale this week all week is veterans is is 50 percent off everything in the store Okay, to honor our veterans. So, mm -hmm. which is a great, great thing, a sale. We've got Thanksgiving, as you see, two days coming up after that. And again, every day that you walk into Mustard Seed, there will be some form of a sale on your calendar for you. Mm -hmm. So you can you can plan it out all month long if you get to pick up a copy of this calendar. And then Christmas is coming, obviously, which is wonderful. And But our thrift stores are part of actually our social services as well, because they are the ones that allow, that do, do the clothing comes from their stock of stuff and they are, they're able to let us be able to do that. We also do furniture vouchers. And again, not that we do thousands of them, but we probably about five a month. And that because somebody just moved into a new house that has not a thing to their name. Mm -hmm. And then we're able to put them through. We don't charge them that. We charge them, we, I think we charge $15 for them to give us that so we can at least deliver it to them. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how that works. So we're very fortunate that we're able to do that. And and again, at the end of the day, I will tell you, 99% of these people are so grateful to mm -hmm. be able to have that in there. Some young mom, something single dad, whatever it may be. And we give them a voucher box, dishes, pots, pans, silverware, cups, like everything it needs to start them. A couple mm -hmm. towels, uh, all of that, just something so we can make sure that they have a good way to start. 
And if people, you know, have those things at home that you want to bring in, you're donating those. Um, and it, it it just hurts my heart sometimes when I see this perfectly good furniture and things thrown away out with the trash because you you just don't have the extra time and energy to take it over to mustard seed but there are two locations for mustard seed you can take them to either location and um people and and then you also can book a time for the people to come out if you have large furniture items that need to be uh, picked up you can book a time to do that too. So if you know you're moving and you know you're not going to be taking this or that, or you know you're getting new furniture and you'd like a, a nice place to bring your furniture so somebody else can get um, a second chance with it, um, then then you can call Mustard Seed and and they'll book somebody to come out to, to come and pick the stuff up, correct? Correct. All we right. do. And, <laughs> and, and Andrew, we, have, we have a scheduler for the, just, just ask for the truck scheduler and then they'll get them on. Mm -hmm. And then she does the ones all the what we can do and can't do and stuff like that. We have to really be mindful too financially for us. So when they give us stuff that's all big and broken and they just, it's sitting there, it costs us a lot of money to go to the dump, I promise. <laughs> right. But so, so, just make sure good condition possibly. Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> of course. So, so keep in mind, good condition not stained and torn not Correct. broken down you know yeah. but, but every day people have furniture like that or household goods like that yeah. um that they're just they got s new stuff and they they're just they're ready to get rid of the old stuff um, they are. But, but like I said, it, but this goes on year round. So this is not just a, one thing out or another. And and again, I am I am proud that I work here. And and I'm telling you, the churches that that support us are just amazing as well. We have great donors. Um, again, but there's never going to ever be enough donors. I can tell you that. So mm -hmm. that's important. So if anybody was interested in giving towards the Thanksgiving fund, that would be a wonderful thing if they want to bring a turkey over. Anything mm -hmm. that they could do just to help us support it helps us from pulling money from out of our general fund and trying to keep things rolling. So that would be a great thing. And, and then I'm going to talk to you my very favorite thing to do is silver bells. Oh, yes. Okay. Silver our bells yes. Right up. yes. 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 So this year it's a little different because this is our 10th anniversary for our auxiliary ladies putting on their events. And so we're very excited about that. And we'll be doing this at the Lexus dealership. OK, they take all the cars out and they're going to let us come in and have a big old party for 200 people. Wow. So it's going to be a, it is. And it's going to the theme is the Dickens Christmas. And again, it's just easy because it's holiday attire, whatever you'd like to wear. We have live entertainment coming in. There'll be a dance floor all set up. We'll have live auctions, silent auctions. And, and I'm telling you what, I, we've been working really hard on this one. So I am very happy about that. But Lexus dealership has been that, that now each year when, and Suella knows that we usually would go to someone's home and do that. Well, this year it's not because I need to put more people in there to try to really make a difference. So, which is, I'm very excited and thankful to the, uh, you know, Amber Woods and the Lexus dealership for allowing us to use that. And again, we, you know, we've got great sponsors, FP&L. Um, there, there's so many, like I said, it's just amazing to see what's going to happen for this event. Uh, they have a lease that'll be going up there on the auction. We have some highwaymen paintings. There's all kinds of stuff. The six night, seven day resort out of Orlando. So lots of good things that'll really be and challenging for us to be able to get through. So I'm excited about it. What's the night of Silver Bells? It's December 2nd, and I still have some tickets available. Okay. And they're $100 a ticket. Okay. Okay. And, and again, it's uh, from 10, uh, from 6 to 10. Okay. And mm -hmm. that's December 2nd. So that's really first Saturday of December. Yeah, first Saturday of, okay. of December. And uh, you'll, you'll be able to get some food and drink and entry to oh we have a, a phenomenal buffet dinner coming in that'll be there uh flavor fork has been our caterer for a long oh, time oh that's awesome yeah so he's coming he's in and, and they're they're going they're going full steam and we've got everything you could imagine that's going to be going on like i said we have a couple a uh, couple secrets that we want to share when they get there <laughs> <laughs> oh good 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 yes 
So and you're going to have entertainment too. Oh, very much so. So yeah. one of my staff is does uh, does a lot of that. So he'll do the when the quiet and the music's quiet, but he's got the dance floor all lit up blue and it's going to be great. And then the entertainment comes from the, it's called Jerry and the Dolls. So we're going to be doing 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s music, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. That sounds wonderful. And that's coming up on December 2nd. Uh, it's $100 a person. Yes. Um, and you'll have a, a silent auction as well. So you can still use things to put on your silent auction, too, if people want to donate, right? Sure. What kind Love of things are you looking for? <laughs> Pardon me? What kind of things oh, are you looking hey, for? You mentioned anything that, that's sellable, you know, and again, a lot of stuff we have in our auction is, you know, in, in the silent auction, there's a, we do a big, big kitchen basket every year. It takes a whole entire pallet to cover it. And it's some of those kinds of things, but more importantly, you know, jewelry is a big deal and anything, you know, and I had a lady once when I did a, an event with St. Andrew's school and I said to her, she says, geez, well, what can we do big? And I said, so why don't you, she says, I just got a divorce. And she, she said, you know, I could get rid of that ring. I really don't want to, you know, think about him anymore. And I said, well, if you would be so kind to donate it, then what we can do. And this was, it wasn't for St. Andrews. It was from Children's Home Society. And she said, she said, you know what? I will, I will give you that ring. And she said she did. It was a, it was a, a one carat diamond ring. And I was thinking me, it was going to be the husband. She was no. going to be. <laughs> she gave me that ring, and but it was in honor of her son. Yeah, for, that's for, awesome. for, it, it, it was John Carroll is actually you yeah. know, part of that. Okay. But anyway, but it was you'd be surprised it, unless you ask for it, you you may never get it. So, but I did get it. So something champagne else and that, diamonds was the theme. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. Um, something else that goes over really well at a silent auction that won't cost you a penny is mm -hmm. if you might have a summer home in, say, North Carolina or <laughs> the beach or somewhere, and you want to give a week of that, you know, give give that put that up for silent auction those type of events go very well i mean i i love bidding on that kind of stuff because then your family gets a holiday place and it doesn't cost the person who's put it up for auction really anything at all um and <laughs> and and uh mustard seed is the winner of of it's a win-win for everybody well, I, I, that's definitely something I still have plenty of time that I can get someone in for find out. I'll find somebody. <laughs> but yes, but, but you know, we're, we're doing really good here. And like I said, even though our challenges are always going to be there it, at the end of the day, this is every, I, I don't ever have a bad day to come to work. So, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm very honored to be here. So, and again, I think we've covered a lot of our stuff, but like I said, and we look for, uh, for the new year, we're, we're, we're going to try to put a different twist on that uh, Silver Bells and come in for something more exciting that we can tell you that it's not all put together yet, but it will be nice for next year. <laughs> so, um, look over the page. I'm just, I'm just looking at the page. Just make yeah. sure I'm going to send this to him. Okay. And, then, and again, the thrift stores, like I said, they are 80% of what happens in our store. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they they were they're just one and one together. And when I tell you that the people that serve for us, even in these thrift stores, these ladies work so hard. You know, just looking to get volunteers that would be able to hang the clothes up. Mm -hmm. You know, and again, so this is anything anyone out there that would like an opportunity to volunteer, please call Mustard Seed mm -hmm. at four six five six zero two one and ask for Miss Giselda. That would be great if we could get more of that because they always need help in the thrift stores, always. And and of course, you have a website that has plenty of information on it, and that mm -hmm. is at. Oh, there you go. Now you got www.mustardseedslcstlucounty.org. Okay, mustardseedslc.org. So you can uh -huh. find out. Most of this information, if you're looking on it on a regular basis, and you also post some stuff on social media too. Yeah. So yeah. you can follow Mustard Seed Ministries on social media and be the first to to know about different events. Um, and, and, and don't be afraid to, if you know somebody in your neighborhood who um, 
might be needing a, a hand uh, to to recommend to pass along that information um, to them and say, you know, check this out. And um, that way they don't feel like they're taking charity from you. Right. Um, you're you're passing along information that can help. I mean, and everybody on the treasure coast has Stacy on cell phone on speed dial <laughs> um, because because no I, I they Aww. they don't really but uh, but oh, yeah I get called at 2 a.m don't worry yeah but, but <laughs> it is, it's it's not just a job for both of you it's a calling um and it's something that you know you want to make a difference every day every hour in the community and if you aren't somebody like Stacy and Giselda who do that for a job, for a career, you can still do it as a volunteer. And um, it's easy to do by, Giselda, how do people sign up to be a volunteer? Do they have to know what they're going to do, what they want to do before they well, sign up? Opportunities. Yeah, I can send, they can contact me at the number 772-465-6021 and ask for Giselda. Um, I will send them, if they have an email address, all the information on the volunteers' opportunities, the site locations, and we also have opportunities at Sarah's Kitchen from Monday through Thursdays. Yeah, and, and so for her, which, which she's talking about too as well, that there is opportunities, but we want them to do something they want to do because then they more apt to want to come back. So a lot of people didn't like to go to the garden because it was so hot. And I mm -hmm. said, yes, we understand. So we work with master gardeners now. <laughs> right, 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 right. Um, and, and of course, again, the Thanksgiving feast and the whole week of Thanksgiving, you have all the different Sarah's Kitchen activities yes. at different locations. And all of that stuff is on a flyer. We can get all that information. You'll be able to. Uh, you'll you'll be able to see that at WPSL. We'll we'll post that uh, with the show, and okay. you can also check it out on your website and on Mustard Seed social media. Um, but starting at the beginning of the week, there's something that's every day of the week that is a, a feeding activity, and then culminating, of course, in the Thanksgiving Day feast, um, which is a 33 year old tradition um in St. Lucie County that you can be a part of and uh, even if you want to volunteer for that even if you're someone who doesn't get to serve if you're I know you had people the last time I went with my kids you had people assigned to different tables to kind of be like the social chairman of that table <laughs> to, you know to just chit chat to people um, yeah. And that that's very meaningful, too. And it, it's also teaching your children the social yeah. graces mm -hmm. of being nice to people who aren't just uh, people that you uh, see at school and that are your friends and your family, but to be nice to others, to feel like you're giving back to others. Um, in, a, of course, a protected atmosphere with your parents there. <laughs> so, and then Silver Bells coming up uh, mm -hmm. December 2nd, and that's your big fundraiser. Mm -hmm. And um, people can still buy tickets for that, and that's $100 per ticket. Um, and uh, you could call or you could go online um, to get the ticket information. Can people actually buy the tickets online? Well, I don't know. We prefer that they that they can I can be I can pick up I can but I need them to come in to get the tickets because we have to sign off and give those to you on my sheet. So, okay. like I said, it's it's easier that way. And again, if they did want to do it, they have to mark it on their memo that it's silver bells. Okay, that's okay? specifically for silver. So I'm not bells. saying no, but but you know that would be fine. Yes, and then of course you have coming up. You know, you just when 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 you said you just received the uh, grant uh, mm -hmm. that okay. that really just happened like last week. I mean, that's oh, we could go Saturday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, the impact uh, one hundred grant and that money is 
100% of it is going to be used for um, rent and mortgages for people right. who need uh, a roof over their head. So yeah. uh, it, it's, I bet you're just thrilled <laughs> to know that all oh. of those people will be safe and happy. Yeah, I mean, and, and people think it's a lot of money, seventy thousand dollars, but you it's it'll be estimated about um forty six rents for yeah. mortgage. Yeah, and, you know, it, and again, but still, I'm grateful. I'm just unbelievably grateful that this is. I mean, nothing worse. I mean, this career I've had, I have never struggled as much as I have because there was no services that we could go to to do that, and that was that was really hard. Believe me, really hard. Well, it makes me say no. Of yeah. yeah, it makes me think of the sailfish story where the kid was walking along the beach and throwing the sailfish, the starfish back in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and somebody said, you can't possibly throw them all back in and save them all. And he says, well, it made a difference to that one. And those right. 46 people who will have a home and a roof over their head is it's going to make a world of difference to. Right. And and then it will be a, a factor of those people will go on to help other people. And, you know, they may, you, you don't know that the children of those people who now have a roof over their head aren't going to grow up to be scientists and doctors and astronauts. And Very much so. Do they have astronauts anymore? I don't know. <laughs> 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 and the president of the United States. I mean, they they Absolutely. those people can grow up to be anything, and they wouldn't have had that chance without That's an right. opportunity like this. So, um, anyhow, the website again is mustardseedslc.org. You can find out all the information we've been mm -hmm. talking about. Um, we have been talking to Stacy and Giselda from <laughs> Mustard Seed Man Ministries. And you've been listening to the Sue Ellen Sanders Show. We're here every week weekend with information and news and issues about in in your community on the Treasure Coast. So join us. Thanks again for joining me today, Stacey and Giselda. And we'll see you next week with more. Have Greg, a great I just want to say, I want to thank, thank, thank you, Sue Ellen and Greg both for allowing us to be able to come in and share all You've this. You've been listening to the Sue Ellen Sanders Show right here on WPSL, Port St. Lucie. Talk of the Treasure Coast webcaster to the world, serving 48 countries as wow. of uh, just a couple of days ago. And WSTU Stewart, Martin County's Heritage Station, serving an additional 39 others. So we're worldwide on the Sue Ellen Sanders Show. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.